Hi there, my name is AJ West, and welcome to my room. This year, I went to Google I.O. 2012, which is Google's developer conference in San Francisco. I just got home and plugged in all my cool new gadgets, because Google gave us some pretty neat things. This is going to be a video that's going to have a quick overview of all of the things that I was able to receive. You can check out the YouTube description for more information and specifics on the specifications of them all, as well as maybe where you can get them. Um, and just general information links on both Google I.O., the devices, and the sessions, which many of which were recorded live. So, I'm going to bring you through a quick walkthrough of some of the things. You'll check out my new alarm clock here. This was uh, a special giveaway that was given to people who attended a session about the Accessory Development Kit, which is open source hardware. This is really unique. You can check out that it's all held together by magnets to encourage developers to hack it and take it apart. It's got tons of sensors inside, including accelerometers, uh, a sensor for magnets, and even um, it's even got a color sensor. So I'm just going to bring you through quickly through a couple of those things. We've got, for example, um, 64 LEDs on the front, all of which are in different colors. Um, there's this really neat. Uh, app that came with it. Du -du -du. Oh, it's locked. I gotta unlock it here. Oh, I think I do it from here. I just got this, so okay, here we go. <laughs> okay, so you can see here's an animation that they sort of pre-programmed. You can do whatever you want with this. You have access to all of the sensors. You can see I've got an accelerometer. Um, there's even, yeah, as I said, a magnet sensor. So I've got a magnet here, actually. We can quickly take a look at that. You can see that it's going crazy. I don't know what you can do with this, but I mean, there's got to be potential. Here's the temperature. Uh, it's got a, you know, hydrometer. It's also got pressure. Check, check out the YouTube description for more info on that. So, we're going to move back this way in my room. You'll see that I'm holding a tablet. We actually all got Nexus 7 tablets, which are a quad-core tablet. It's silky smooth, buttery, as they call it. And, uh, yeah, again, check it out. Um, it's really, really great. I've been using it for the past day in the airport. Um, and, yeah, we'll move right along. In my trusty Chrome bag here, I've got a couple of things. All attendees were given a Galaxy Nexus, which conveniently was the phone that I already owned, and this is being filmed on. Uh, I was lucky enough to win at a claw game that was on the floor, so I actually won a second Galaxy Nexus, and I was able to trade some things for a third Galaxy Nexus, so I am now the proud owner of four Galaxy Nexus phones, so my friends and family will be spread uh, with the joy that is Android to try that out. So. We also got Chrome Boxes, which is a Chrome OS, uh, I would, I guess, equate it to like a Mac Mini for Chrome OS, which is basically just a Chrome browser. You can see there's tons of ports on the side. Um, you just plug in your peripherals and you launch it right up, log in with your Google account. It's really great. I can't wait to bring this home and plug it in. Again, check out the YouTube description for more information on that. There were lots of really little giveaways as well. There were tons of vendors and things. I got some stickers, tons of jelly beans to celebrate Android Jelly Bean, which is the new operating system name for 4.1. And uh, I'm not greedy. I just there were a lot of them on the last day, and I and I took a couple for some friends. <laughs> Moving right along, you'll see that I have a box here. This is a new piece of technology that Google has created called the Nexus Q. Luckily, I've opened it and plugged it into my TV. So right this way. You'll see here, it's an orb, it's super elegant, comes with, uh, right out of the box with, you know, the HDMI cable and everything, it looks, it all integrates right into your, into your uh, home network entertainment system. And basically what I can do here is I can take my device and I just tap it to it and using NFC, it's going to hopefully authenticate here. Oh, there we go. So now my entire Google Music library, as well as anything that I want to display on YouTube, or even rented movies or purchased movies on YouTube, or, or presumably other uh, locations that I've rented movies from, can be sent right to my TV. The idea here is that people will come over to your house, and you can tap your phone, and there you go. You now have access to control a sort of uh, DJ-style system in your home entertainment system, which is looking pretty cool. Can't wait to try it with my friends. So, for instance, I can go into the music app and I can ask it to play right on my Nexus Q. It'll play right through the TV. And there you go, beautiful visualizations. You can select which one you want, etc. And finally, I'm just going to turn that off. Finally, all of developers, you may have heard of Google Glass, which is a set of sort of glasses that 
you set on your head. It's very difficult to describe, so check out the YouTube description again. Um, but basically what it is, is it's a heads-up display. Right now it's really in a, in a prototype mode, but they were displaying it with some, some pretty crazy stunts uh, on the roof of the Moscone Center in San Francisco. But all developers who were at the Google I.O. conference were able to pre-order a preview version for spring 2013, and I am now the proud pre-order owner of Google Glass number 795. So again, check out more about that in the YouTube description, and I would love to see you next year. Thanks for watching.